L Splash. I think said he might be trying a new character, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But uh, I'm excited this, for this one. It should be good fun. We've, we've got the Sindel player cards. So is that the player card mix-up? You know, when they got Nightwolf on their player card and they pick Devora, and you're like, what? It's the what? first mind game, dude. <laughs> what? Hello, Muffin. Sindel, and Teaser, love you, man. And Legas Oh, there. Collector! Wait, no, Splash played Collector first, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I'm sure Splash was a Collector player, like, a very, very first character he played in this game. And Sindel. Man, you can just see, right? The more, the more the DLC comes out, you can just tell the amount of effort and just craft that goes into these DLC characters. They look and they stand and they move. Sindel has so much character. Which variation? Splitting heads, variation one. Wow, big forward three to the face at the start. Confirmed straight into Bola. Now, this is probably going to be a very aggressive matchup considering it's back in the pack collector and splitting heads, Sindel. Like, I think we're going to see a lot of, like, sweep distance. We're going to see a lot of down, down, well, generally, like, long range low pokes if we can. And a lot well, of jump this, kicks. I've played this matchup a couple of times and, um, wow, drops a combo right at the end there. No punish. I've played this matchup a couple of times and it's. I think it's a bit tricky for Sindel because she likes to play at a sort of middle range, but collects buttons just outrange, like his standing four outranges the uh, back three. So you've got to, she's got to be very careful where she puts buttons. Well, what we saw right there, I think, is going to send a, a big message for the rest of the set. Where the first time we saw Koizy try and go for a scream cancel, Splash immediately just no messing standing around, one, standing one, like interruption immediately. And that's the thing; those cancels, they're safe, but they're not. They're not safe enough where you can get shenanigans and stuff from it. And also, she uses a defensive bar, so against the character like Oh, like nice that. confirm into the, the whip. Break Ooh. up buttons. Nice side switch, no meter to break just yet, but keeps it simple anyway. Nice choice by Splash. And you see him convert, you see him cancelling into the, the mace. Wow, wow, that confirmed. Oh, but drops the oh, combo. Drops the yeah, that's a full punish. A good presence of mind there, I think, to break straight away because Sindel hits really hard. Especially in splitting heads if she's got the bar. Yeah, she's looking at, you know, 32 to 34% two bar combos. So. Oh, went for the ooh, end here. Ooh, what was that? Takes to the sky as Top Gun. Let's go. How is this? I want to be mid screen, please. See you later. <laughs> I always usually get that by mistake. Oh, no block on the overhead. Delayed wake up beats the standing one meaty. Good block on the. I mean, forward one meaty. Oh, oh he's dead. Yes, Fatal it. Blow will do this. Oh, keep it simple, dude. Oh, no. let him break away. No, oh my oh. god, no! Koizy! Koizy got greedy and wanted to save the Fatal Blow, but will not get the chance to undo Maybe that he, mistake. You know what I think? I think he looked at the wrong side's bar. I think he looked at his own bar and confused himself, because there's literally no well, reason I mean, to do I mean, surely that's the only <laughs> that's the only reason you wouldn't go for Fatal Blow, yeah, is if you just didn't see it, maybe. There's no. There is that was that was that was that was the round. That was over. Yeah. Fatal blow would have killed one thousand percent there. Yeah, no, it's just because with that combo. So if you hit them, firstly, the crushing blow on that scream is amazing, and it restands them. If you do crushing blow scream like into that. back three four fatal blow, it does fifty percent. So well, just by itself. Yeah, just by itself. If they don't hit a shield, it does forty eight point something. So that was death. That was fully death. Even without the dash up. Scream, Another scream, jump to, all that other stuff. That that just had to be like a spur of the moment, just didn't think about it kind of thing, right? That that wanted, it has to be. He wanted swag points, I think. But he definitely could have fished. Like I said, that does at least if there's no if you hit a shield, it does about forty six, but if you don't hit a shield, it does forty eight. So Man, <laughs> interesting that's crazy. choice by Quizzy then. Yeah, Quizzy yeah. definitely threw that one away, unfortunately. But that's the thing with Zendel, is her, her Fatal Blow usually scales quite hard, apart from if you hit with that Fatal, with, with that back, uh, back forward two crushing blow. Oh, nice interrupt there. Both players being really good with their presence of mind not to fall for the, for the not real staggers, interrupting with their standing ones where they can. All we can say on, is, if you don't play this game, you're not a true gamer. Good patience by Koizy. Oh, you gotta be careful with that with that butt string as well because it is a high. Even though you do get plus frames from it, you're gonna eat a down two crushing blow every is, single time. If you if don't you're not play careful. This game, you're not a true oh, game. there's the crushing blow again. In range for the second scream. Yep. 
But now, Splash can't break. So this is where the damage will come. Ooh, nice. optimal. One bar damage. 45%. Oh, into the teleport. Four, three oh, oh, my God, the confirm. She's dead. And That's got to be oh, dead. Yeah, yeah one, three first. It barely scales with that first. Stab Damn, Prince. that is unfortunate for Koizy. You thought that round would be it, but never say I, no I, to Fatal Blow comebacks. That's the thing with Sindel as well, is that I find that a lot, is that you do these sick, you're like, yeah, I just hit a 55% combo, and then you just, you know, ultimately lose to one free Fatal Blow anyway. But nice interrupts in the overhead there. Sindel's overhead is the second slowest in the game after Jade's at 25 frames, so... You have to be very careful when you're sticking it out, because everybody can just... If, they, if they're ready for it, they will interrupt it. Wow, and Splash is two for two with those four three hit confirms into Bola. Oh, another hit. That combo is not easy. Oh, oh wow, what a bait. read. Damn, that was yeah. dominant from Splash. And I mean, this is what I was saying as well. This, see, he's just playing outside of that range that Sindel wants to get in. That's why Collector, I think Collector's not a great matchup for Sindel. You know, standing four, as I said, beats back three. Your overhead is 25 frames. Have we seen Splash interrupt it twice? Wait, when Even you say interrupt, do you mean like on reaction? Like trying to Yeah, on reaction to the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on reaction, so the overhead's coming down and we've seen Splash just... Stick out just 1-3, right? right? Yeah, 1-3. Oh Even I think he interrupted with a standing 4 as well, so... Well, as is the beat of the first to 10, we have plenty of games left to go where that came from, so... I imagine we'll see Koizy stick with Sendel. I mean, maybe the entire time, no matter what. But, you know, of course, we know Koizy mainly as a Cetrion player. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you'll instantly just lose a couple games in exhibition and then, bam, Cetrion right away, right? I, I think a lot of players use these exhibitions as a means to just use well, these characters the to just get the, get some good games, you know, under your belt with the character. So well, I yeah, guess I'll have to uh, wait and see. Well, I, I think you're definitely right as well, because how many times are you going to fight a super high level collector in a first to 10, you know? This is going to be a valuable matchup. I mean, usually I fight Mr. Douglas a lot. That's the only way that I've learned that matchup. So he kicks my butt with that uh, spare change collector, but... Yeah, you've just got to play it out, you know? If you switch, you're not going to learn. Wow. Back to straight into dabs in the corner. This life bar has been dominant. I mean, Koizy just not able to get anything started. And then blows straight through the last breath. Damn, forward 1 2 into the, the wow. knives, wherever that move is, is like, that's like five hits on block. Yeah, no, it's like, it's like what you were saying before. It's a privilege to have an ability like that to uh, blow straight through last breath. Because, uh, sorry, Collector is definitely one of those characters. Oh, and we change again. Cancel. Now, that's the first time we've seen the scream cancel and Splash hasn't pressed a button. I think Koizy's really trying to catch up. And they confirm! Damn! Splash has been super on point. Yeah, every, every hit is working out for Splash. He's ready for with these confirms every time. Okay. Ooh. Speaking of which. Uh, yeah, I respect that. Oops, I mean, three, 300 it? damage dealt before the breakaway. That's not bad for Koizy. And Koizy and, almost in uh, Fatal Blow territory, so not quite out yet. But he has used the back for two crushing blow, which is probably her best one outside of down two. Yeah, losing so. the scream is a big deal, but it definitely started this comeback. But will it be enough? We haven't seen a lot of hair uh, whip and flips either. Oh, there you go. Just as I say it, he catch the forward three and just mistimes it. We haven't seen um, Splash flawless blocking any of the gaps either. I think he's Maybe just got to be careful, right? Because if you, if you try and beat a force block gap and then get hit by the hair whip or the 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 the, the leap you're gonna quickly lose that leap oh. what what is going on <laughs> <laughs> Koi, get out of here oh tried to catch her on the way down <laughs> oh, oh my god after all that just a neutral fatal blow i can't believe it get combat lead again but he's not dead <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, he's really. At first, I thought he was flying by oh! mistake. Oh, oh that, that would have been so good. The punish. Oh. oh, if that hair whip connected. Oh my god, that would have been the best thing ever. Oh, that would have been amazing. But Splash, how does Splash just gonna sit there and block for like 20 seconds and then I don't know where? Fatal blow. <laughs> my man. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know what what read he got there. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he just wanted to chuck it out just to try and check a thing that. And collectors get a nice pair of boots to take home. 
That's my favorite outro in the game. Get in just the, the way the <laughs> get in the fucking bag. Just the way the boots just stick out. Like, what the hell is in that bag? That means you also put them in head first. Yeah. <laughs> uh, collectors, I mean, I'm not sure how much, uh, not to start anything controversial in, in the exhibition, I'm not sure uh -oh. how much I agree with him in the S tier. Oh, but... I, I, I don't think so. I, I definitely think Collector is better than um, we gave him credit for, but I don't know about S tier. But that, that's the no. thing. I, I think there's a lot of characters in the game that are like that. Like, And even then, sometimes it just comes down to variation. Like, are we really going to say that Raiden is S tier or is Raijin really solid, right? Same thing with yeah. Kano. Like, Dirtbag is the best Kano variation by a country mile. Like, absolutely. But without Dirtbag, the character has, you know, drawbacks that Dirtbag plugs. And I feel like there are certain characters in the game that have that, right? And you need to play that variation to see those benefits. And, I mean, maybe Collector could be one of them. Who knows? I definitely think there's a lot of potential, though. That's the, that's the important thing. Like, how much do we truly know yet? Yeah, I mean... I just don't know, man. I know he's got a lot of tools. The command of mid is really good anti-airs, but I just don't feel like he's he's that good. But maybe maybe when Sonic Fox plays them more, we'll see. Uh, oh, good big punish. We're we gonna see a break. Big damage coming through. Oh, trip oh. guard. I like that with the back two. He needs to start using the back two more because Collector can't really punish it. So he's been going for the over the standing four not punish. Blocked. I would assume I don't on paper so. it might. Because of the pushback, because you see she she does a little hop backwards as well, so with the block stun. Oh, goes for the chip. Don't have to worry about that crashing anymore. Oh, oh. Don't go for the overhead. No, I don't I'm not sure Collector can punish it. Oh, oh and the full <laughs> string. Hits her with the debris to take out the last Round breath. Two, fight. The jumble sail in his backpack. <laughs> it's pictures of 10. Man goes to a car boot and everything he wants to sell is in it. Just hits you with those like cassette, old cassettes and vinyls. Toys with the eyes missing. Yeah, vinyls. <laughs> McDonald's yeah. toys. Oh, big block. Oh man, I need to get those McDonald's toys. That is Early the, break. The first time we've seen Splash commits that 50 50 and the, immediately punished. Which shows good presence of mind. Because I mean, it's one thing knowing the matchup. With character. Another thing, learn, having that muscle memory to punish stuff straight away with a character you've only just picked up. A big confirm here. And the beauty of that collector combo is, is that you get the down two, it's 30% even before the breakaway. Here we see, but it's definitely still winnable by Sindel. Wow, dash up grab. Still got the back oh, two. Wake up, blow, micro ready. dash one three. That was a big call out from Splash. He does have the life lead and he's got Fatal Blow, so if he gets one hit, it's over again. Oh, no punish. Oh, wow, well, no punishing. Oh, it was a punish. You know that koizy has got to be getting frustrated with that because the amount of times that Splash is just doing, like, neutral Fatal Blows on a big read and they've all worked, the second <laughs> koizy does it back, Splash blocks he, it and wins the game. He gets punished. I mean, so far, it's been a convincing 3-0. We've seen some signs of life with koizy um, I mean, it, it's 4-0, but the games haven't been a complete mop. You know what I mean? No, I, no. I feel like All so many of the rounds are just coming down game, to you're not one final gamer. read, but consistently in those kind of like do or die clutch moments, Splash is coming off better in those moments. But then this is what we're talking about with character familiarity as well, right? With Sonic Ninja and Orp 2, you have Sindel. Splash been playing Collector since the beginning. Koizu's only been playing Sindel for, what, two weeks? Three weeks? Yeah, I mean, the, so, th the thing is that there is there there is the point of that, though. Like, again, I don't want to just make excuses and say, like, oh, well, that's the only reason it's going this way. But, like, you have to remember, Sindel is still a new character. Like, oh, Sin yeah. Sindel has not... She's been out of, like, a ripple in the water compared to... I think we were saying the same thing last week when we had, like, the bit of a Sindel showcase, and she was even newer then. But um, but even then, you know, I don't want I don't want to focus on that too much because Splash no, no. is is known as a Kung Lao player, and I know Splash started with Collector and has recently gone back to the character. I don't know exactly how long for, but um, the spotlight has been sh has been shined or shone, whatever the word is, on Collector a lot over the last couple of weeks, especially kind of since uh, NEC. So I definitely don't think it's a huge surprise that we're seeing more of his character now. No, no, definitely not. And the other thing as well is, even though Collector has been out for a while, how much matchup experience do people have against a really top tier Collector? So, ooh. 
Well, the big thing is the way the detector is normally played. The, the big adjustment here is Splash is using. Wow. It, it's one three, right? Uh, one three, right? That that collect the string. Is it one three or one four? The punch. Into, one three. Like, yeah, one three. Yeah, the punch kick. Yeah. He's using that as like that's his neutral and uh, less four fours outside of the corner. Not a huge amount of forward ones. It's mainly just one threes. Big jump kick. Oh, but not close enough for the fatal blow. It could have been the round, but a little bit too far away. Not quite enough to kill, but enough. One bar of last breath. That's gone. Oh my god. Three. No, but the recovery in time. Koizy stays alive. I thought for sure Splash got there, but not enough. A good read, though, but Koizy kept safe. Sorry. Sorry, I just had to quickly run and get the door. It's all right. I didn't worry about it. Uh, Splash teleported right as Koizy did a scream, and I thought he'd be able to whiff punish, but he just recovered in time. That's the thing with Collector's Teleport as well, it is quite slow, so in order to get a good read on it, you have to be really ready. Oh yeah, it, it, it's definitely a read, like, you're, you're definitely not kind of just doing it. Oh, nice challenge there. Both players doing a really good job of challenging each other, and that's the thing as well, we're not seeing low, e either player get hit by staggers, because both of them are ready with their standing ones or down ones to check. Oh, big stagger into throw. Standing four. This is where Collector's scary because he's got standing four and back three. Oh, Ooh, there you go. But no, he didn't oh. get the combo. And he used the meter to do the up two, so he didn't have the meter to break away. Oh, just catches. Wow. <gasps> Drops the combo. Okay, he... Koizy takes his first game of the set. And that was, and even though we were saying about, you know, character usage and stuff, that was quite convincing. Lots of good adaptions there. He was just playing you, with Sindel, even though you don't really want to be up close to people, you, against somebody like Collector with the longer range buttons, you do want to be close to, you know, up as close as you can to stop them from zoning you out. So especially in that last sequence where uh, Splash had uh, Koizy in the corner, Koizy did a really good job of just making sure that he wasn't going to get pressured by the standing four, you know, by standing four and the other buttons. And managed to capitalize. Certainly yeah. seems that way. Now the question is, are we going to see a change from Splash? I don't mean character-wise, I mean like adjustment-wise. Because I feel like a big part of that game was... Um, I think a big part of it was confidence. Koizy was a bit less afraid to just kind of commit to a, a few of these like mids into hair whips and... Oh. oh. Well, how about that? Yeah, I was going to say, that's the ultimate mix-up. Just leave. Well, we see One Shang Tsung, maybe. Let me re-invite Koizy back in. I don't think Koizy. anyone that's playing tonight actually plays Shang, so I can't imagine we'll see too much more. Now I know I know Koizy has uh there's that um console uh oh what's it called again? There's a thousand dollar tournament that Destroyer is uh commentating with Aquaman, I think. I think that starts at eight o'clock our time. Oh, okay, so twenty minutes. 20 yeah, minutes. but I I don't know if Koizy is needed like immediately or if they're waiting for them. Okay, his game crashed. That's fine. I was re ah, He hit him with the casual one and done. You beat somebody four times, they beat you once and then leave. It's like, oh, thanks, man. Didn't want to run back anyway. I feel like that's that's been a tale as old as time in online <laughs> fighting games. <laughs> Tekken's the worst for it as well. Because the beautiful thing about Tekken and the death matches is you can play somebody for ages and have a really strong set. And then... <laughs> All right, cool. Man, no worries, dude. Me. Thanks a lot, dude. We'll try not to keep Koizy for too long. It's fucking Sonic Ninja and Orp being selfish bastards and having a close set. Yeah, going 10-8. Come on, guys. <laughs> yeah, they've got no, no regard for everyone else's day. Come on, now Shit. we've got things to do. But I don't update the score, right? Yeah, so it's 4-1 to one right now for Splash. So it's looking pretty good for Splash, not going to lie, but we are far from over. Collector. When is the one thousand dollar tournament? It is. It starts in twenty five minutes. In, in fact, I think we will will host them when we're done. That's gonna be hype. Aquaman and Destroyer. Destroyer with his first Pro Tour commentary in uh, at NEC. And did a I'm really, I'm really happy he got that chance. Well, that's the thing. That's the beautiful thing about this tour as well. Even with people like Falcon and Callum in the UK, a HBT warrior. You know, it's, there's been a lot of new blood that's Round come one. through, and they've all, I think, really stepped up. Yeah, and Europe's definitely needed that for a while as well. Like, for too long, it was just me and Ryan. Like, I'm, I'm happy to do as many shows as possible because I love doing it. Like, but it's not the most practical thing, right? There, there, there has to be more people. And I think we've got a really, really good team of European commentators so far. And I'm excited to see what happens next year.
But that's the thing as well, like the players, they're just going to get better with experience too, so... Oh! Jump 4, that was supposed to be forward 4 in the corner to confirm it's a big damage, but did standing 4 by mistake. Oh, charges up the oh, oh my god, what was that? <laughs> that full, was some just full stuff. charge into cancel. Yeah, that was that was like filler <laughs> episode. Just standing there for 20 minutes while she charges Wait. her next attack. Wait till you see my scream stance. Oh, goes for the interactable. You weren't ready for this. See? <laughs> my ultimate punish. Oh, oh no, I, I dropped it. Sense. If you don't play this game, you're not a true gamer. God damn it. I was so close. <laughs> I mean, he properly dropped. And the thing as well is that Splash didn't even break. So... Oh. Oh, try to end, yeah. A bit too far away. Almost. Yeah, that is a... Down back four with a, a whip and flip with Sindel is a very, very, very good end here. It also she just completely changes her, uh, her, her jump arc too, right? Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh, funny. dang. Big down too. Yeah, it does. So if you know that they're going to press like... Jackie is going to use the standing one anti air, it will definitely pluck that standing one straight out of the sky. Oh, good reaction. All we can say is, Poison, if you don't block, play this game, that, you're not uh, a true um, oh. Dude, Splash hasn't dropped that a single time, I no, don't think. No, he hasn't. I was just about to say. Oh, empty jump, down one. Big throw. No escape failed though. Sindel does have crushing blow on both. I feel like we probably see her throw crushing blows the least of like any character that has them. It's because I think maybe because her back one is the is the dot, so it's not just like a standard crushing blow on the throws. But I, I think it's so. not. It doesn't seem like she's really built around throwing too much anyway, right? Like she's not really point blank. No, none of her buttons really lend no. themselves to her being able to stagger them at all to threaten the grabs. Outside of potentially doing uh, hair uh, scream cancels, that's the that's the most time that I've seen people go for grabs. They'll do four, two, one scream cancel, or you know, back three scream cancel. But the thing cancel. is, all of the scream cancels are minus. So if you mm -hmm. let people do minus buttons into throws, then you're probably not playing the matchup right. No, and that's why Splash has done such a good job. Like you were saying before, is every time he's gone for the scream can because he's gone for the scream uh, scream cancel, he's been interrupted with standing one, which is probably why he hasn't gone for it as much. As the sets progressed. Oh, another big block on the mix up. Forcing the breakaway. Standing four. The much lamented standing, uh, sorry, forward four with Sindel. Wow. See, this is exactly what I was talking about. That overhead is 25 frames and he just gets clipped while he's doing it. Splash is ready. Oh, oh, okay. I caught a poke. All we can say and this could be death. This he's got two bars. Not yeah, this, true gamer. this does about four. Oh bars. my god. Oh my god. God, yeah. that yeah. combo was Told gorgeous. You, dude. Holy shit. Zendel hits like a tank. I've, that is the first time I've ever seen that crushing blow in a real game, and it led to that much damage. That is mad. Well, I mean, that's why, even though, again, I'm not a massive special move, if you do have a special move that that crushes down pokes, you know, down four, in, he did, Koizy did down four into, into whip and flip, and the, the requirement on the crushing blow is if you uh, counter hit or punish a uh, you know, ducking attack. So if you know that they're going to press a button back, boom, you get the pop up into 47%. So, yeah. Now, Koizy has made the adjustment. We're now seeing two games in a row. Yeah, definitely playing at much stronger ranges Last and just, just keeping been... out of that collector pressure. We I think he's scene. playing a lot less, um, less unsafe. Yeah, it feels like we're seeing like yes, we're seeing a couple of hair whips, like hair flips here and there, but that's about it. Well, we so. haven't seen any random fly cancel as well, which we saw in the first couple of games. <laughs> oh yeah, flight is like a <laughs> no go now. <laughs> no flight cancels. Going for the like kill combos rather than going for crazy. Oh wow, scream cancel just catches that mace right in the mouth as she goes to scream. Down two NTM is not quite high enough for the down one. Minus six, it is safe. Oh, tried to interrupt with a stagger. I thought he was just going to do a one-one. Did splash? Gets hit by the one-one-two. Oh, whiff punish! Wow, the what a whiff three. punish! I mean, that's 19 frames too. So you have to be really sure when you're going to stick that out. Really good job by Poisy. Still, splash with a slight life lead. Fishing with that crushing blow. See, see, this is this is where it's scary for Sindel. Wow, 
That's a grab. Because he has to be careful. Because 4-2. Oh. Nice down again, two. every time Koizy tries to establish that forward 2 screen cancel, he just doesn't get anything from it. They confirm. Oh, oh. Try, that was definitely nope. trying to that was definitely trying to get a crushing blow on uh, an anti-air down two. Mm -hmm. That was definitely Koizy fishing for an anti-air uppercut. And that would have crushing blow as well. But that was a really good presence of mind by Splash. To do the standing two oh, counter hit. Cool. Just execute. Oh. It's gonna do big damage. Oh, oh drop, drop the ender. Did a lot of damage first though, so it's still half-life sequence in the end. Oh. People get caught out a lot with that standing four as well with the uh, Sindel because it ends in an overhead. So you go to, to low block and you just get clipped. Wow, and the success rate on those confirms from forward three into Bola with the splash is insane. And again, doesn't drop the combo. Well, I've not seen many wake up attacks from Koizy, even though. Not anymore. I, I felt like we saw a bunch early on, and Splash almost made all of them whip. Oh, yeah, that's oh, true. Oh, drop, drop, though. Drop, Scream at this man. Still no escape failed. Splash happy to take the throw. I think this is death. Is that enough? Yeah, I know forward four is a big damage opener, but there's a lot before. Is that enough? If that's death, I'm stunned. Wow, it is! Holy shit! I didn't think for a second that would be enough. But that's the thing as well, is with Collector, maybe that's why a lot of people put him at such a high level, because he does have a lot of unbreakable damage. That was 40, what, 44% completely unbreakable. So Splash finally wrestling momentum away from Koizy there. So another win. Is it 5-2? Is it yeah, 5-2. It's 5-2 now, Splash officially halfway through. Just playing really clean, like you down to every anti air and didn't fall for the bait when Koizy went for the whip and flip, the air whip and flip. Able but, to that's get the, but that's the problem that Koizy's going to have, though, right? Because it's like, what do you do? Do you still commit to. Because those kind of decisions, they're big risk, big reward. But then, like, the risk is like, we sort of punish for the crushing blow. You're looking at the big, chunky damage. Sometimes unbreakable, sometimes doesn't need to be. Like, it's, it's a big decision to make. Yeah, and I think that is that is one of Sindel. That's why I think she's a more of a balanced character. Even though she does percent you know, when she does hit the whip and flip, as you said, if she doesn't, it's death on block. So you have to make the commitment. Try the standing four opener again. This time, Koizy didn't take the bait. Nice check with the down four. Triple dash throw. And Splash hasn't teched a single throw because he's. I think he's just happy to take the throw rather than risk the, the crushing blow. Wake up buttons. Or is he not breaking? Ooh! Escape failed. Collector does have crushing blow on his throws as well, though. Yeah, we've seen barely any of that this entire time. I think both, like we were saying, both characters. Oh, what a whiff punish. Oh, oh okay, interesting. That's, yeah, that reach stand is plus 18, so. The, the, uh. Forward four. So Koizy might have tried to press a button there and just gets clipped. That's actually mad. I had no idea Ford 4 by itself was that plus on hit. Yeah, I, I think somebody. I think it was Kong was telling me yesterday. That's one of her best. Free, one of his best free stands. Oh, up with Mace. Oh, second hit. Oh, that's a combo. Instant break. Doesn't want to deal with that at all. Oh, goes this oh what punish. a punish! Oh my god, that's huge. Punish it from that far away. Oh, what a tech. I think we still have the crushing blow locked and loaded as well on collectors. So I don't remember Koizy teching a throw since. Oh, down two. First time I've actually seen that so far. Oh, oh drops the combo. Got standing three instead of three. Yeah, standing three through. first. That's unfortunate. Standing oh, he's three. dead. Oh. Wait, what? Is he? I don't know because the second. The yeah, first one of them whiffed. Yeah, yeah, I think he probably still is. But yeah, you're right, it, it whiffed. Sindel oh, yeah. standing three is the worst button in the game. <laughs> it honestly I mean, is... It is kind of ass. It The amount of times I've died because I've pressed standing three by mistake instead of back three, or, you know, I go for a jump three and I get back three, oh, standing three, and it's... You might as well just put the controller down and go and have a, sh a cold shower because you are done. 
I do wonder what it's meant to do, because it's not fast enough to anti-air and anti-cross up. It's quite slow to cancel from. It's a high as well. Yeah, it's a high. That's the All thing. Can say it's is, it's if literally you don't play this game. You're not a true. The gamer. only reason you press it is when you want to throw. And you're like, you know what? I'm done. Like you, you've got a 20 win streak on King of the Hill, and you're like, man, I want, but I don't want to make it thrown. So you press standing three, and you're like, oh, I'm done. Uh huh. GGS. Especially that kind of situation where standing three hair whip doesn't even combo, so you're literally just putting yourself in harm's way, unfortunately. But Koizy sticking with Sindel. I have a feeling this is what we're going to see for the entire Round set as Splash goes up mm -hmm. to six to two. Well, that's why it's that's why I, t I tend to do two three into into something rather than jump three because if you do whiff it, it's it's your demise. Oh, and what a whiff punish! That collector standing four, one of the best buttons in the game for sure. But you can just it just tells you Splash's quality that he's even with collector, he's already learnt this matchup to the point where he's whiff punishing and interrupting all of Sindel's buttons, even though she's only been out. Oh, for that is crazy. Oh, mace cancel into throw with the crushing blow loaded. I'm very surprised that worked. Oh, well, is this another? Maybe Are we gonna see another dip? Koizy's game crashed again. Imagine if that was Combat League, you'd said he got rage quit after the <laughs> after that mace oh, cancel. If, if that was Combat League, that definitely would have looked like a rage quit. But we know that definitely. There's no, no way already, it would be a rage quit. In no, this. No, 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 it's definitely just. He's a, already, yeah, he's already had issues this evening with um his computer. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. It's the world of online. I imagine we'll just run the game again. Hang on. The thing with PlayStations as well is, I'm amazed, and not, not to voodoo curse myself, touch wood, but these things have been out for a while now. Unless you've got a brand new one. Oh, yeah, he might have to go. It's 10 to 8. Hang on. Where is he saying he might have to go? No, no, it's just somebody in chat. Uh, Muffin said in chat that uh, apparently that... his like game on stream isn't until like All the fifth we can match. Say is, so if you don't play oh, this okay. time, you're not a true gamer. Oh yeah, should... I mean it's. We should have time. Yeah, we should have time. But this set is sick. I mean, I, as I said, I've played this match a little bit myself, and it's really cool to see it played at at such a high level. I love the, the combos Koizy's doing. That's but that's the confidence of top level players as well. I'm like, I'm only gonna do two. Because I'm scared I'm going to drop it. And Koizy's like, no, nope. I'm going to do try and do jump three every gosh darn time and maximize my damage. Because you're not going to get many opportunities, so you need to maximize it. Okay. Koizy is back. Right, score is currently 6 2 to splash. Both players are fine with just running that match back. Cool. Yeah, because it was, it was only the, what, Soon like halfway through that first game up. anyway, so. Yeah, it's fine. And again, like th these are only like casual exhibitions. There's nothing to, uh, there's nothing on the line, so ain't no real big deal. Watch how uh, Splash goes for that same setup and gets down too. I've seen it already. Sindel's such a cool character. I like how she's been done. I'm honestly consistently impressed with the DLC in this game. You can just... I know that fighting game DLC can be. Uh, inconsistent, you could say at times. Yep. So I'm quite happy to see how it's been done in this so far. Oh, that must have been a down one oh, attempt. I think that might have been a command grab attempt, and he got just down back instead of the full command grab. Wow, wake up down too. And if you notice at the start of the round as well, he got hit with four four. Uh, Quasi got hit with standing four four again. Oh, jump three, nice confirm off the back three. Flash is not blocking. He's been hit by everything. Oh, and another nice time we're seeing cancel into throw. Splash is getting away with a lot of these. And that's the thing as well is that if you're not ready for them, even though they're super minus, nice. You know, it's it's does that, that sort of unfamiliarity as well, mate. I think maybe lends people's perception of this character being top top tier. Oh, oh, nice bonus block. Nice presence of mind. Did you see that to cancel the bowler as well? Because if yeah, he let that, that really whip nice. after the break, off, then uh, he would give have been yourself a breakaway safe and also give yourself advantage. I think. Knockdown. Oh, wake up something. I didn't even see what. Got I kicked. think it was a uh, up two. Oh wow, that was like oh, wow. max max range. The meter is there to break. Nice block on the back two. Because even though the overhead is super slow, it's still enough of a, a threat for people to stand block it and get hit with back two. Which is a meterless launcher. 
Koizu going for the unsafe stuff because he does have the meter to break, but Splash keeps it unbreakable. Yeah, this definitely it's is going to kill. This is just to get the life lead. That is such a horrific fatal blow, isn't it? It's really vicious. Wake up <laughs> jump kick. Oh my goodness. Oh! Fates out up three. If it doesn't punish There's it. no defensive bar for Splash. Oh, <laughs> the monk. <laughs> Hits him with the Shaolin monk. Oh. Not bad enough, that guy's dying. He gets used as a projectile. All we can say that was quite a dominant game from Poison game, there. You're not a true gamer. No, it looked good. It's a shame that they're... we keep getting the interruptions, unfortunately. I imagine it's taking both players out of their flow a bit. Especially Koizy. They did a really good job in that first game, just that relentless offense. And Splash just didn't seem like he had an answer for it. A few wake-up jumps as well, catching Splash out. Which is strange considering how consistent he's been anti airing uh, Koizy. Well, I guess we maybe... don't have to worry about like the uh, the constant threat of uh, are we going to see a hair flip on that, right? Like it's it's unsafe. Yeah. It's there. It's like it's like whenever yeah. you see a Kung Lao leave the ground and it's like, is he going to oh, dive don't... kick? I just had a Vietnam flashback. I think I've just got cold sweats. You said Kung Lao jump. Single <laughs> tear. It's just gone down my cheek. Just a... it's just scars, dude. You don't know. You weren't there. You haven't experienced it. Round I'm one. in my safe space. All we can say is, if you don't play again, no, four, three, four, three. Four, three. I must say, Splash's confirms on bowlers has been really good. It's been mad. There you go. Command grab. I haven't really seen much of that command grab at all. No. Oh, wow. Finishes off the 4 2, two string. Yeah, I mean, I think it's because... koizy has been quite buttonsy, so he's a bit scared to commit to the to command grab. Because if it whiffs... Oh, what a tech. Yeah, crucial Get tech. Off. Still a big life lead though for Splash. Oh, oh confirm nice again. Wow, he really is doing a really good job of confirming. Drops the combo though. Oh, Ooh. nice back two. Forces the break. Overhead. Pressing buttons. Overhead again. Oh, the movement from Koizy. It's the shimmying back and forth. Yeah, wow, that's the first time we've seen somebody shimmy. Oh, no anti yet. Oh, wow. the confirm. Back to count here. Conks are over the head. 10 frame mid. I didn't realize it was 10 frames. Yeah, that, that, that's what made people so interested to see um, the, the Warquake task. Because Warquake pre-patch comboed from that. So it was a 10 frame hit confirmable uh, combo oh. tool. A rip in peace Warquake, man. Dead before it even started. And again, another input error, I think. I think he's going for command grabs there. And that's why he keeps getting that stab move. Oh, Ooh. he just walked in for the later end of that. Just wanted to hear her beautiful voice. Back throw. Wake up scream. Her her up three is probably one of the best in the game. Because it's super far range. It's only minus nine on block and it's plus fifteen on hit. Oh wow. Bowler cancer is not being punished again. Big overhead blocked into nothing. Back throw. No escape failed. Again, Splash happy to take the throws. He does not want to be at the mercy of a Sindel crushing blow uh, throw. Yo, I don't think he's even tech the throw either. I think he's just content on just taking them. Yeah. It's not like she gets amazing Oki from them or anything. No, because they both the back throw leads them closer, but the forward throw just chucks them, just chucks them miles away. Now here's the problem. I don't know what you, you, you are supposed to accomplish with Sindel's flight when you can't do anything from it. I feel like you're just going to get chased down eventually and take a hit. The amount of, again, the amount of times that's killed me. Oh, that might guarantee the win, you know. That's a long throw. Oh! No! And that is a really smart option from Koizy because that, um, that amplified scream is super active. So it actually can catch both front and back rolls if he finds it correctly. And front, front roll was, I think, Splash's only way back into the game, so that was a really smart option. Because even if he didn't roll, the stream would have just been safe. Yeah, I think that's without a doubt her best fucking blow. Because it is gone the, now, though. We have to remember. Because the butt isn't great. Because a lot of people just duck that stream. They're content to get hit with the overhead. And then as you've seen, Splash isn't teching either way with the throws. So... That's really been his most consistent, Koizy's most consistent um, crushing blow hit outside of the raw whip and flip. Oh, trade. Board four, up three. Koizy content to stay a little bit further away. 
but now he's in the corner. Checks the tall floor. We haven't seen this. We haven't seen any flawless block attempts on the floor either. Oh, just straight interrupts it. Oh, Finally, no, no not close enough. Wrong option. That should he should have done a main squeeze and that would have connected. But thought he was close enough to get the scream. Oh, and a big jump. Still managed to get the round. Okay, so Koizy gets another one on the board. It's now 6-4. Koizy was really down, but is uh, bringing it back slowly but surely. Uh, we're just starting to see him play a little, like like with Orp and Sonic Ninja again, we're seeing Koizy just adapt, and he's just playing a lot cleaner, you know? He's getting, he's taking maximum advantage of his hit confirms. He's not falling, well, He's not falling so much for the bowler cancels in the sense he's he's letting Splash get away with it, but he's not then getting counter hit or grabbed or anything by it. So, oh, for a second there, I thought Splash was going to pick the Wara. I was like, what? But no, accidentally pick. So, Splash content to stick with Collector, even though we do know that he has a very strong Fang layer. Yeah, I, I definitely think we're just going to see these two characters for the whole set. I think Splash is looking to get some more games into Collector, it seems, especially now Collector is in the public eye. Koizy, of course, has been a big supporter of Sindel ever since her announcement. So I definitely think we, this is what we're going to be seeing for the rest of the set. But again, it's not it's, it's super cool because you just don't usually see this. I mean, Sindel isn't even tournament legal yet, so it's red that you see. Oh, oh no, not again. Oh, no. All right, he's back. God, what? What has Koizy got? Like the world's most unreliable setup. <laughs> I think he's just got is a hamster this PS4, in a wheel. like yeah, powered by like. <laughs> has he got a shovel coal in it or something? <laughs> Battery powered. Oh god, it's running out. But that's the universal sign for I'm ready. Oh my team. god! Did yep. you see that pickup? Yep. If you up three hits at a specific height, you can combo off it. So excellent presence. I've never seen point. that before. I did it by mistake yesterday. I was like, yeah, that was definitely on purpose. What the. Yeah, really good presence of mind. Oh, big grab. Doesn't get the conversion with the fourth four though. Oh! That was definitely an input error by Splash. He did not mean to do 4-4. Four, four. But gets the confirm again. Drops a combo again though. Wow, two confirms, two dropped combos. We're starting to see... Oh, can, speaking of confirms though, jump kick into yeah. hair flip. Now Splash can just... win, but the, the clock is not on his side. And you can tell Koizy is a Cetrion player. He's just happy just to sit three quarters length of the screen away with the life lead. Be really patient. I mean, at this point, if he takes the throw, yep, delay a wake up. Is that going to be... No, it's not gonna no be. the throw is too long. Yeah, just really good patience there by Koizy. He knew he had the life lead. Why Why risk running up to Collector and getting... And unfortunately, it was a back throw as well. So he splashed him out of the corner and gave him the screen space. Oh, yeah. Maybe just splash, just, just desperate. Oh, big teleport, switching sides. Oh, whip and flip, oh my not punished. God, what? <laughs> From downtown. Oh, weird. Oh, Ooh. counter hit. That's gonna be close enough for the screen too. Oh, what? 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 That was sick. What was that? <laughs> what? That was so sick. <laughs> he did a back two, so from certain ranges, back two side switches. So that was just a really, <laughs> that's a really sick combo. Dash up grab. No well, tech. Well, it's over for Splash. Ooh, big jump kick now, aren't you? That's, that's Splash really well. saving that command grab, I think. Really not abusing it. Well, that's what I said, because we've seen a lot of jumps from Koi's. Oh, drops the combo. Oh, oh no, he's dead. Yep. Yeah. So that was an interesting sequence because Koizy didn't break, even though he could have. So he had the, the presence of mind to know that Splash has dropped, in this in this game specifically, he's dropped three or four combos. So good presence of mind by Koizy not to break. It kind of comes back to what we were talking about in the first set. You know, if there are combos that you know are hard, you can forego the break on the assumption they might drop it. But in situations like that, it pays off because then Koizy... Retain the defensive bar. You keep the threat of what you can do off the ground. And it worked out. This is now 6-5 to five to Splash. So Koizy has plugged the gap big time. Was this... It's been a three... Was he on a three-game streak now? I think... Oh, no. It's 5-2. I think he's on a two-game streak. I remember it being 4-1 at some yeah. point, And oh, now Koizy has thoroughly so brought it back. Yeah, Koizy's really... Maybe just the first couple of games he just needed to warm up a little. 
That that corner combo is. I'm I'm Shireen getting the crap out of that corner combo. I'm gonna watch that. So that was really clean, really <laughs> clean. But this this is that Sindel variation, right? If you're picking splitting hairs, you pretty much should have all of these optimal combos on deck. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing as well is that I, as much as I enjoy playing this very, never competitive because you know you can't. That Sindel does lose quite a lot of matchups outside of the range that she wants to play, but. Dragon's been playing variation one. Koizy's been playing variation. One. Maybe this, you know, if you're if you're that good, you can just you know outgo those bad matchups. I mean, it, it can definitely be played. It's just not as universal. But at the same time, we've seen a lot of variation three work out. Like, yeah, I thought variation three was definitely going to be the most competitive uh, at a glance. But you know, you don't. You just do not get the, this damage. This explosive damage. Yeah, 47% combos off a crushing blow. Nice anti air. Forward Welcome four. to the stream, Tommy. Yep, things are going well, man. We're just chilling out with these first tens. It's been good fun so far. Oh, they've been amazing. And both of these sets have been really competitive. And they've both, I mean, my, my favorite thing about what a tech, my favorite, all oh, goes to down two. That was definitely supposed to be back forward two, and you got an input error, because I do that all the time. If you see a Sindel do a raw down two from about three character lengths away, it was definitely supposed to be a scream. Oh! Forward three, mace to the head. I always forget that back in the pack has an up mace. Yeah, you don't really get to see it. Wow. What is Koizu's success rate on blocking that mix up? Well, I mean, the thing is, it doesn't matter. Like, I, I still feel like that's one of the worst 50 50s in the game. Because, like, oh, it's yeah. tiny damage and full combo punishable. Oh, whiff oh, punish! Wow. Collector, yeah, and. Slash used his defensive meter to teleport, so he's not going to be able to break. Oh, drops a combo. That was supposed to be forward four. Got standing. Still did 387 there. damage yeah. first though, so not, <laughs> not all bad. It's not the end of the world. Big confirm. Uh, choosing not to break again. Keeping his defensive meter. Are we going to see a wake up? No, wake up jump. But uh, this man yes, in the uh, Sonic room. Ninja has played. He was the first set of the day. It was uh, Orp beat him 10 to 8. Uh, the restand, Splash missed the restand there, got down for forward four. And that probably cost him the round. Final round. Fight. Big jumps. Koizy's getting a lot of mileage. We're not seeing Splash anti as first two games. Oh, escape failed. And Koizy's taking advantage of that with a lot of jump ins, especially wake up jumps. Oh, oh and Koizy walked into it. Oh, oh no, misses the punish. Forces the break straight away. On three whiffs, forward four counter hits something. Forward three, that is minus 20, but Sindel can't really do anything with that. Oh, down button uh -oh. again! No breakaway either. Oh, oh no! Oh. What? <laughs> Reset! Reset! Oh my god, what a mess! <laughs> that reset. <laughs> Just made me choke. Oh man. If that was an on-purpose on reset, that was the sickest thing I've ever seen, but... And Koizy has I... tied things up officially now. Six to six, okay. That's why I say it's it's not consistent to get um, that jump four or jump three, whichever you decide to do. It's, not, it's just not as reliable, and sometimes you can drop it, but if you do it anyway <laughs> and it works out... I didn't realize I could hit behind her like that, honestly. Yeah, it really, the, the hitbox on it is huge. And especially if you hit them in the air, it's one of those like funky MK11 hitboxes where it's sort of like your hair merges with them and sort of hits and then you teleport above them. So, yeah, the Whip and Flipper definitely has a, a bit of an awkward hitbox, but... Well, I guess sometimes it we, does work we, out. Well, that's, I mean, it's, it is the, the strength of the move, like you were saying before. But we're just seeing a, a really good Sindel showing here. I'm really enjoying the way he's playing. He's taking the initiative when he's when he needs to, and then when he's got the life lead, he's happy just to be patient and not rush in. Are we going to see a standing four at the start again? No, both players jump back, respecting each other's options. That That's was how you like know a... you've played a decent game in the first to ten, and when both yeah. players just start off with a jump back. <laughs> that was like a Dragon Ball Fighter start to the round, where they hit each other, clash, and then bounce back. Oh, wow. Lots of patience from Splash, just sand blocking, not even moving around. Wow, the oh, one time he said firm. Oh, didn't actually opted not to uh, amplify. Wow, what a punish. Nice side switch combo. Koizy not breaking. Good damage too. 
Gives a life lead to splash. There they are. to grab. That's the thing is we haven't seen many forward one staggers from uh, from splash. Instead, opting to prefer he prefers to go for down one or standing one, but forward one is a really strong stagger move. Wow, keep the combo going. Dang, 36%. Come on, grab. Oh, first one, forward one. oh my god, he committed. Out of the delay, grab and escape failed. But he's thrown him out of the corner. But I think, still I think it's a wor definitely a worthwhile trade if you have the escape failed now thanks to it. Because it's going to make these mids even more dangerous. Oh, doesn't confirm it's the bowler. Uses his meter, confirms there. Goes to the side switch. Is Koizu going to break? Nope. Oh, oh but stands up into the stabs anyway. America reset. Standing four. And he's going to use it. Yes. Absolutely wow, no reason to hold on to it there. Oh my god, back to back. That was a big call out on buttons from Splash, but it will pay off. That was a very one-sided game. That was a flawless. That's the first flawless of the evening. Hi, Nick. Man, the more I hear this raid announced, the less I'm a believer. I... It's just I mean... not very exciting. It, what the what is it that Raiden? What was it about Raiden as a character that that called for him to have a? Do you know what I mean? Like Johnny Cage is like those. I mean, smiling. he's got an iconic voice actor. Like Richard Epcar is like a legendary voice actor. So maybe there's that. I like think about it. All the big like, you know, Sindel godly characters Collector. have one. Like Chronica, True. Shao Kahn, Shao. Raiden, now, of course. Shang Tsung's Island. Yeah, I mean, I just have the Chronica one because I played Gareth for so long that it worked with my outro because I always just use the Chronicles blessing <laughs> so it's just Garrus wins I'm like yeah I do want the uh, I actually don't have the Chronicle one because I've never linked my mobile device or account with the uh, with the game before I just downloaded the game just to do it and then deleted the game I mean yeah, I think that might be the play play thing I actually used to play MK Mobile quite a lot when MKX first came out but I just don't get on well with mobile games this is always that underlying element of sleaze where you're just like, Ugh, everything I do, it just wants me to do. Oh, wow. A standing 3 2, but drops a. Oh, a drop Dang. on that is a big shame. I wonder if he was expecting a breakaway or something. Yeah, potentially. I think he just wasn't expecting to hit the cr that crushing blow because it's like Nightwolf's uh, 3 1 2 crushing blow, you know. It's, people are so used to blocking high now. But maybe he just wasn't ready for it to hit. Oh, commits to the overhead. Doesn't have the meter to break. Oh, optimal. That's a tight combo. Oh, that is a super tight combo. That back three, four is really tough to hit. Fatal blow there too. So Koizy can definitely take this with one confirm. On the flip side, one bowler and it's over. What's going to happen? And we're just not seeing any anti-airs out of um, Flash anymore. Oh, maze cancels. And that's it. Yeah. Flash really not anti-airing as much anymore. The, the, the fear of the whip and flip, has, I think, has got to him. Maybe. Well, I do wonder if that's enough, because at the end of the day, like, it's like he's, he's losing too much health for jump kicks yet. I know Sindel can take it away, but we're not seeing it at the moment. Uh, no worries, Tommy. Thanks for tuning in, man. It's been, uh, it's been fun experimenting with them at the moment. The extreme gets blocked too far away for punish. Wow, gets clipped by the overhead. Cancelling into main squeeze is safe. It's minus seven, so there's not a lot that can punish it. You see a lot of Sindel's go for forward two main squeeze because it, you know, prevents people from flawless blocking or reversal punishing. Oh, big jump on the throw. Big jump of the own, no anti air. Oh, Down hang one. on, big punish. He Splash is definitely not out of this yet. Oh, that drop could be disastrous. Oh, back two. He's going for down ones into the no! stair. Oh, because... what was that? Was, oh. that? was that one one fatal blow, perhaps? Yeah, oh, he just no. the combo. I don't know what happened there. I feel like Koizy had a couple of chances, just wasn't able to clutch it out. A couple of oh, crucial no. mistakes at the very end. I'm watching it. Oh, no. Uh, I'm that pretty sure thing. MK11, um, big, like the big edition, the gold, whatever the gold version thing is, I saw on Game Awards, it's like half price. They advertised it on the Game Awards last night. Oh, cool. You know what the saddest thing is? You know, you know the, 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 the Mark Award goes to me. I bought both premium editions for PC and Xbox. So I spent, what, 
70. I've barely played the PC version. I just I just can't. Like, I, I also really feel the need to yet. The thing with the PC version was, it's like, yeah, it's the PC, so it's going to run better, blah, blah, blah. But they just haven't been as consistent with the updates. So the PlayStation and Xbox versions get the updates, and the PC version gets it like two wow. weeks later. So yeah, honestly, like, if you have the choice of getting it on PC or console, get it on console. Yeah, like it's one thousand percent better. Like if oh. PC is your only option, then fine. But if you can get it on console, get it on console. In my opinion. Oh wow! Scream cancel. He amplified. That was really smart from Poisy there. He amplified the scream because he knew that Flash was going to challenge it. And just let it rip. Yeah. And got the crushing blow. But it paid off. Didn't get maximum damage from it though, unfortunately. But got the breakaway out of Splash. Uh, I haven't done any ultimate variation matches. No. I will probably get oh, around to that this weekend. Suppose he's gonna break. Now we see Splash starts to make, start simplifying the combo a little bit. Another wake up jump. Confirming into whip. Oh, play. attempt to whip punish. Oh, what was that? I don't know. Maybe he ripped up the. the Splash was going to do a forward three into it or something. But he gets it back because Fatal Blows come back for some reason, so... I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, honestly. And the thing with Sindels is it pushes them back so far that you can use it multiple times in a round. But, yeah, dude, I've fought Katanas before where I get, they do like four Fatal Blows on me. Look, he's just using it as a zoning tool because he knows it's going to come back. Oh, oh, no, the jump kick, too stubby. Double down one into standing What part. was that round ender? <laughs> That was, uh, that was someone scrambling. Nice down one, smallest blocked. Oh, there you go. Oh, the bar gone. That's all of Splash's offensive bar now down the toilet. No crushing blow on either throws yet, I, I believe. I haven't seen escape failed. Throws Koizy out the corner. Oh, confirms again, but doesn't have the meter to amplify. Back to Koizy expected the throw. Not safe, no punish. Oh. Back to... Now now we can just see each player, they, they're still respecting each other, but they're both swinging hard. I think Big they have to. Well. Splash has a bit of a comeback to make here, though. Well, no, Splash doesn't, sorry. Quasi does. Quasi. Uh, Fatal Blow's there, though. I don't want to say it's impossible. No, I mean, if you hit... The, if you, you can see him fishing with the, with the Scream Clashing Blow. Oh! Doesn't finish off the forward force ring. If he, oh, what a read! Oh, combo could be that it. too. That was perfect. Oh, he's gonna cash out on the fatal blow. Now this, this is gonna add a considerable amount of damage. I think he hasn't got the offensive bar though, so he won't be like next touch kills territory, but he'll be damn close. I don't think he's even gonna have the no, he's not even gonna have the life lead, so a lot of resources. Oh, wait, what? what? Wake up fatal blow. Yeah, see oh. if fatal blow is used, like it don't <laughs> it don't matter. Oh, attempt to and yeah, done wow. too late. And Koizy on a on a tear. <laughs> That's the thing. It's really tough. I mean, anti-airing jump kicks game is the added threat of being able to special move cancel into it. It just like you said before with Kung Lao. You know, you just have that extra layer of fear that oh, I'm gonna go for the anti-air. Well, you the get thing is, Collector does have incredible anti-air options. His down two is good. His standing two is amazing. His back three is amazing. But we're not really seeing Splash attempt any of them. I wonder if it is just the the threat of um. The threat, oh, the, of, flip. the flip is too much. But the thing is, like he's he's absolutely just straight up not trying to at you most of these jumps. But the ones he's trying to, he's trying to use like standing ones or down twos, and that's about it. But I really feel like standing two is your best at your option. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you completely. I think you're you're exactly right as well. He's gotten to the point where maybe he's just been conditioned by Cosy to you know he's pressed the button a few times and got crushing blowed, and he just thinks you know what. Because he's been challenging a lot after the jump through anyway with a down one. So maybe he's like, I'm happy just to try and challenge rather than to take the... Oh, wow. With punishes 4-4 four, four with full screen back forward 2. No he break. Cashes out the damage. Yep. Yeah, that main squeeze does a lot of damage. It's amplified. Oh, see, again, he goes for the... Gets jump kick, but nothing... No meter to break from Poise. Oh, he hits that. Oh, too far away with a down one. The respectful stare, both players just looking longingly at each other. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, the whiff. It's great that collector players can finally actually use that full forward three string without crashing their game. It's, it's mad. There's, there's, a, there's a few bugs in this game. We, it's just unfortunate that, <laughs> that they just somehow snuck through. Oh, big stream cancel. 
Down one, checking each other with down buttons. Double down four. On block into forward one. Goes to the launch. No meat, it's a break. Oh, went for the optimal optimal this time. Oh, wow. One three. I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh wow, May Charge, what a tech. Four three confirms it's the four string. Back two. The range of back two is mad, even though it's minus 17. Big jump in TA probably again. Oh, both bars spent. It's gonna do about 40%, yep. Yeah. Big spend, big reward. Uh oh, hang on, speaking of which though. No, still not gonna get a break. Wow, so that's the the stab ender doesn't combo from max range. Max max range if the down one hit. But still well played by uh, Splash. Too. Yeah, that was Knocked a really out. good round. It's important for Splash though, because Splash, if Splash wins this, he's going to be on set point. But if Koizy wins, it's evened up. Splash wants to keep that safety net. He has to get this round. Oh, oh air to air goes to Koizy. Bar spent, of course, wow, spending a what second. A oh, he is. 40% air to airs. Jesus. Yep. Oh, no, we've got an issue. Try yeah, to he's, he's fishing for counter hit. 100%. The double 4-4. Four, four. Drops a combo Another though. drop. Yeah, these drops are really late. Splash down. He's done it a few times in this set as well when it's been... Oh, wow. Flawless block on the 4-3, but no reversal. Dash him back to... And we're not seeing See, Splash even attempt to punish it. I wonder if Collector can. Well, it's... It, even though it is minus 17, it does have a lot of pushbacks. So unless you've got, I think, a fast reversal like a Rhino Charge or a Dragon Kick. By the time, you know, you've, you've pressed it... I don't think you're going to have time. Oh, escape failed. Close teleport into buttons. That's not safe. Doesn't commit to the punish. Big throw tech. Oh, air to air again. Oh, wow. Koizu's been really good. Oh, bait to the fatal blow. That was clean. That was literally like a book. Koizu is exactly what he was looking for. The wake up came and the wake up was punished. And that is it. Eight to eight now. Koizu. Damn, this is our second set of the night and it's just as close. They're both, both these sets have been so good, man. Watching each player adapts to each other. Well, the thing is, it's exactly that. Like, both players are being quite wake-up happy at the start of the set. Um, but especially Koizy. But now the, the shoe seems to be on the other foot. And now it's Koizy baiting these wake-ups and walking back, making them whiff, and then just punishing them for free. This has been a really big turnaround. Again, like this this started off as quite a one-sided set for Splash, but Koizy has managed to completely stabilize it. I think it has just been a lot of it has been the anti air. You know, they've just Koizy was, uh, sorry, Splash was doing a really good job of anti airing Koizy at the start, but now Koizy's getting away with a lot of anti air. During that set, that Splash went for a lot of down twos and was just getting clipped. All we can say and is, we saw, you know, as we saw, 40% every time gamer. Koizy confirmed from a jump four, so. We're also seeing a lot more drops than uh, usual from Splash. I feel like the longer the set goes on, the less we're seeing Splash hit these tight combos, whereas Koizy. Is out here spending double haircut combos, <laughs> like big enders. To put in on a combo video exhibition. Oh, is Splash? Oh, Splash is... I was going to say, he just oh, no. stood up. Not another one. <laughs> not again. Not like this. What's going on? Not like this. I'm looking at the, the, the Twitter chat. Mom, I've got... Mom, I told you I'm in a set. Oh, no, there he is. I mean, to be fair, considering Koizy had the exact same problem, I feel like maybe yeah. <laughs> they're owed one in return. Yeah, true. Oh, wow. Big confirm. Comes wow. into main speed. Another. Ooh, oh, wow. that is unfortunate. Big, big challenge. Oh, wow. I tried. That is exactly what Koizy was looking for, I think. Because that would have punished wake up attack and wake up roll. But a little bit too close. Wake up roll being one of the many. Oh, wow. Wake up interactable. Wake up driller killer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. another hit. Hang on a minute. No he break away crazy. That's doing a lot of collector combos I've never seen before. Wow. Good presence of mind by Koizy not to flinch there because that could have been dash up command grab. Again, look at the patience. He doesn't want to press a button. He's happy just to let the time run out. Challenges with a down four. Dash up throw. I mean, he definitely might still win this. If he gets Fatal Blow now, he could win. Oh, no. no, and the patience, Koizy, blocking his way to one round away from being in the lead after being having to play catch-up this entire time. time, yeah. 
This, if he wins this, he'll be the first time he's been in the set. He's been winning in the set since it started. Wow, big whiff punishes 4 4, but it does spike you. He doesn't get anything else from it. Big jump in, no ends here. Down one. Okay, come on, grab again. We're barely seeing Splash use it. Yeah, oh, catches him with the, with the second two of the 4 2 2. Well, dash up. No, it doesn't finish off the string that's time. What is this adjustment impression that Splash is going for? Like, that string is unsafe on block. I think he's just seeing that, that it's making Koizy flinch, so he's just going to keep using it until Koizy shows well, that he can Actually, block I, I low-key think there is an element of that, where if you're playing a first to ten, you've played this many games, if like 16 games into the set, you just start using weird moves you haven't used before, <laughs> yeah. there's a chance it'll catch people out. <coughs> it's like that, 1-3-1. One, one. He hasn't really finished ever the 1-3-1 one, one, the whole string, so Koizy got hit with the last one because he was expecting that he was going to have the ability to challenge. Oh, no, just out of punish range. Down four checks. Oh, gets shimmied. Oh, shimmied, but... Another escape failed. I feel like Koizy is every single throw attempt is being a failed escape. It's because they've all been back throws as well. He's been yeah. taking Even mid-screen, they're all back throws. Yeah, he's just, been, he's just been reading the forward throw and guessing wrong. Final round. Fight. Oh, four three at the start. Oh, big jump. Side switch, back two. I don't know what Splash was doing. And maybe anticipate the throw gets hit by the back two, but doesn't get a full combo. Dash up forward one. Catches Quasi, maybe he's expecting a command grab. Goes for the combo, hits it this time. 35% big damage. Wake up jump again. How many times have we seen wake up jump in Quasi? And it just hasn't been answered once. Forward four. But everybody, m most people think that Sid forward four up three is Sindel's best string, because even though it's minus seven with forward four, Minus 13 if she finishes it, but it's extremely hard to punish. Oh, yeah, like it's it's, it's like the vast majority of the cast just have to hold it. I think a splitting hairs doesn't necessarily want to be at that range. I feel like variation three, you see it a lot more because variation three is happy to play at the pushback distance, but not so yeah, much exactly. for splitting hairs. Well, at that distance, you're probably going to get an overhead, but from that far away, nine Damn. times out of ten. It's, like it's quite frustrating neutral that Koizy is playing right now. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, no. Didn't go for the launch. Right, let's keep it unbreakable. Okay. Oh, big jump again. Check Koizy just, just, just playing at a distance now. Wants no part in this. Oh, goes for the oh downfall. that was so unnecessary. <laughs> yep. Oh, the reset oh, attempt. The no, I, I think Splash was going for a, oh. like a pseudo reset. A oh, runs f face first into a screaming woman. <laughs> no. Right in his face. This place. And that's Koizy now on set point. One game away from taking it now. Nine to eight. Get away from me. <laughs> right Leave weird creature. <laughs> <laughs> you have too many arms, mate. I think Collector's a really cool design, though. There's just something about him that just, like, he's like, oh, this guy's, he's mad creepy, but. I remember yeah, seeing his reveal trailer and finding his outro hilarious. You know, he grabs oh, the bag. Oh, he's, he's, like, like, hey. he's like inspecting the ring and he sees the camera and he's just like, fuck off. Why is well, Shao Kahn a... blocked out? I don't know. Maybe one of them doesn't have him. No, they they must both not have him. Oh, jokes. Why is Shao Kahn locked? It looks like, looks like VGY can't play sets at these guys' house. <laughs> How can you not have Shao Kahn? <laughs> But he's, I can't even remember how you unlock him. He's DLC, he's a pre-order bonus, isn't he? Uh, yeah, but now you can just buy him. Round oh. One, fight. I guess neither of them play Shao Kahn, so. They say, like, fuck Sorry. Shao Kahn. They're playing <laughs> his wife and his fucking tax man, and neither of them care. <laughs> it's his accountant. <laughs> let, let's go. Big break at the start. Oh, how many times have we seen Splash go for meaty throw and Koizy just le left straight out of it? It's just not a wise decision. When well, you... the thing is that that is definitely the set you're on player in Koizy that's making those reads though. Just those straight up like, you know, Sleepy wake up, thing. jump forwards. Because then if you see what you're, if, if you jump on a read of a throw and you see the throw, you can just jump kick into the haircut or if you're not close enough a haircut, just hair whip. Like that is definitely the set you're on player. The way that set you're on players would jump kick and look for the water geyser. <laughs> But you've seen, for me, it's more the sense that if you know another back throw, not tech. For me, it's it's just one of those things where I just think that uh, wake up jump again. Where you think if you know, if you've seen that Koizy's going to jump, like you said, because he's a set jump player, why would you go for meaty throws so many times and get, um, Round two. and get clipped, clipped. But just there, he read with a 4-3 meaty and it 
he managed to catch Koizu straight out of the air. Ooh! Pulls the trigger on the crushing blow straight away. Forward three again. Doesn't confirm into Bolo this time. See, now he's going for forward three meters because he's he knows. Wow, what an interrupt. He's trying to catch the wake-up jump. Down two. Drops the combo, though. Bolo cancel. Another back throw. Yeah, he's just identified that Koizy can't take back throws. So he's just back throwing him every time. I definitely don't think we've seen a single one tag, so it's definitely paying off. Oh, hang on a minute. Speaking of which, though, comeback might begin. There's a bar on the side of Koizy. Yeah, at oh. the very least. Oh, oh my an god. <laughs> yeah, Koizy's many... probably like, I can't believe Splash held up out of that. How many times have you seen an, a collector do an Adon style instant and uh, instant jump three? She's like, nope, kicked her right in the head. No messing around. Nine to nine now. We're going down to the final game. Holy shit. I call didn't, it, call it, Jake. Who do you think is going to win? Call honest, it right now. Honestly, I have no idea. Because I, I, with how this one begun, I would have pegged it as being a win for Splash. Absolutely. With how it was going. But it's completely swapped around. Sindel bias. Come on, Koizy. I mean, no? <laughs> I mean, maybe. We never know. I think it's going to boil down to how ready Splash is going to be to deal with Koizy's wake-up options. Because he's been, getting a, of, is, he's been getting, a jump, game, getting a lot of Koizy's been getting a lot of mileage off jumps, getting a lot of mileage off up threes. And it's only in that last set you'll see how the amount of times that Koizy tried to jump and he got caught by the forward three of Collector. If he's able to be patient and, you know... Well, we are down into one more game territory, though. So if, if, if you have any tricks up your sleeve, this is the time that you pull them out. I can't wait. I want to see some... I want to see the dirtiest gimmick just clutch this out, like... Down four, screen cancel into whip and flip. <laughs> Down four. We're going to see poke into Fatal Blow. I can guarantee it. We've only seen one, actually. Orp did it, didn't he? Down one into Fatal Blow. Both players really respecting each other. Collector definitely does yeah, have the no range. No one wants to be the one to make the first move, but... Ooh. Oh, oh, goes for the interactable! Wait, what was that? He accidentally Four, three really delayed interactable. That was strange. That was... A super mistake. Oh, exactly. very nice. Koizy didn't have. He hit the forward four punish. Didn't confirm into the haircut. He left. Oh about my god! 40%. Deep jump kick into a raw special. That must have been a down one, maybe. Shorty, thank you for the host, man. Much like you said, dude. Now, if you've got any gimmicks, <laughs> now's the time. Wow, what a whiff punish! Is he going to spend both bars? He is. He wants to even out the life. And that's exactly Still what's going to happen. Near enough. Bar a few percent. Oh, trading down buttons again. No, Antier again on the jump. Big throw. Splash doesn't take a single throw this set. Now, Koizy with the life lead. We've seen that he's just patient and content just to sit full screen. Channel his inner Cetrion. Oh, Another tried to go one. forward one back to back, but too slow. Jumped out of. And a big comeback by Koizy in this set because Splash had a commanding life lead at the start. It's not over yet, but... There's no time, surely. Oh, why would that you go a, for throw? That was a oh. that, that, that was a really well timed jump back from Koizy as well though. Like at the time where it looked like he wasn't going to meet E, that was really smart. Koizy now set Round point. Two, fight. This is so tense. Oh, nice challenge. There's a lot of collectors like to do double. Oh, finally we see an anti but don't jump anyway. Even though he just got down to. Oh, hang on a minute. This could be huge for Koizy. Cancel, grab the throw escape. Oh, finally. Good the first tech. time we see Splash take a throw. <laughs> well, if you're going to do it, it's going to be when you're down match point, right? Still not got the life lead, though. Backs away, expecting the wake-up jumps. Respecting... Uh, oh, my God. He the committed. If you don't he had no defensive game, bar for breakaway. That was dangerous. Oh, what well, a challenge. Doesn't confirm into the haircut, though. Splash has got to watch out. Oh, hang on oh, a minute. No, the breakaway. Gosh. And that's it. Oh. That's it. Meaty back to as Splash gets off the ground is going to connect and that's going to be enough to take the set. 10 to 9. Holy crap. What a set, man. That was so clean. And really well played by Koizy, honestly. No, Splash... The adjustment was real. The adjustment was real. Yeah, I mean, Splash had that had that game. What was he? 5-2 up or 6-2 up? And then Koizy had a big streak of games and then Splash sort of pulled away again, but... You know, you know what's funny? Imagine if Splash wanted to take the game that Koizy disconnected from.
Oh, imagine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, dude, in tournament, I you, hella would have. Oh, that would have been fun. That would have been hilarious. I 100% would have taken that if that was a tournament. I'd have been like, Splash is going to be in the group chat, like, yep, so we call it a draw, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I won the first of 10, it's fine. Hey, you, won, you won the moral victory. Alright, it's Koizy and Splash. Thank you very much for the games, my friends. That was good shit. That was really good shit. And uh, good luck in the tournament, Koizy. Thank you for playing. Mm -hmm. Man, that was sick. Splash, that sorry was... you didn't win, mate, but that was a really good showing. Right, yeah, that... I mean... Sorry, go ahead. I'm no, going to no. change the overlays around. No, I was just going to say, I love... That's the first time I've seen... Because I've not seen Dragon play Sindel yet. That's the first time really? I've seen a player. No, no. I, I know that he played, did he play DJT the other day? And um, I heard he did really well, but I've I've not just had, I've just not had a chance to watch any top level Sindels yet. So that's really clean to see.